Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Will Dinwiddie here. Today's word of the day is greatness. Greatness is the quality of being great, distinguished, or eminent. The definition of great is a great or distinguished person, very large and imposing. Distinguished means successful, authoritative, and commanding great respect. And eminent means famous and respected, of positive quality. Okay, so greatness. Greatness has a lot of uh, <laughs> great words used to describe it. Um, but on your road to success, uh, in order to achieve these kind of words to be used to describe you when people talk about you, um, you need to be an achiever. <laughs> because it, it takes achieving things to become great. It takes endurance of something arduous for a long period of time to become great. Um, you know, like Nelson Mandela spending 27 years of his life in prison and then coming out and, and, and becoming a leader. I mean, a uh, great leader. I mean, <laughs> excuse me. Um, you know, Michael Jordan uh, being known as the greatest basketball player of all time, but he was a team player. Uh, he learned how to get he learned how to get the most out of his teammates. You know, so that's what that's what greatness is. Is it's 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 maximizing what you what you have, and then showing others how to maximize what they have. So part of being uh, part of being great and part of being a, a leader is learning how to give back. So once you've you've educated yourself to a high enough level, um, how you're going to educate yourself beyond is you're going to have to learn how to give back which means you're going to have to learn how to teach. Uh, you're, you're going to have to learn how to, how to show others what it is, the techniques and strategies that you used to gain success so that you can help them gain similar success. Um, you'll, be a, you'll be like a stepping stone for others you know, that are on their path because there's no one person that makes you into everything that you become. It's a, it's a accumulation of all the different people that you come across in your life and all the different people you hear talk to you. So there's uh, you're gonna some people are gonna have more of an impact on you than others, but it's gonna be an accumulation of, of a lot of different uh, uh, knowledge that you gain from a lot of different sources, a lot of different people. So you have to become one of them if you want to be great like them. You have to be a giver. You have to uh, be a contributor. You want to be a co contributor. That's why you're in life anyway, is you're in life to contribute your skills and abilities to the world. And it's up to you to, to, to develop them to their maximum potential. When you do these things, when you spend your days, day in and day out, um, working on you, just taking some time every day to work on you, working on your body, um, working on your, on your craft, you know, whatever that is, you want to you wanna be as strong and positive as possible when you're working towards your goals. <clears throat> I always feel like the better I get in the gym, the better I get at my business. You know, the better I get at my business, the better I get in the gym. It's like <clears throat> ever since I started my business, I have my strength improvements have continued to rise and and my success in my business continues to rise and and the confidence continues to grow. It's it's, it doesn't have to ever stop. You know, you don't, there's always ways to get better. You might have maxed out your weight, your, your physical ways. You may have maxed out ways in one area, but there's another area. You know, there's other ways that you can be stronger. You may max out your, your curl weight or whatever, but how, what about your bent row or what about your overhead press? Or there's, you see, there's always ways that you can maximize your body and get better at your body. What if you've achieved your full maximum muscular potential? What about your cardiovascular? Because that kind of takes a hit when you're working on trying to build yourself up to be as big and strong as possible. Um, to, to do that, you have to be specific. Uh, and cardio is a way that, that is something that can get in the way of that, you know? Like, so then when you've achieved your maximum muscular potential, go back and work, start working on your cardio again. Try to get lean again. Uh, Whatever it is, whatever your goal is, these are just examples, but there's, there's always ways to switch it, you know, work on your hands uh, strength, work on your mind strength, you know, like work on uh, uh, becoming the expert in, in the field of study that you want to be an expert in, that, that, you, that, that, that provides you the most passion and the most joy and happiness. 
If you like taking care of kids, take care of more kids. You know what? I mean, whatever it is that you want to do, in order to be great at it, you have to be obsessed with it. You have to allow yourself the obsession. A, a lot of a lot of top athletes will will tell you that. that. A lot of people that are great at what they do in their business will tell you that. It's it's constantly going through their mind. Uh, this obsession and this the obsession is developed over time when you allow yourself the ability to, the ability to do that you got to make room in your mind to develop this obsession and how do you make room in your mind you got to get rid of all the negative if if something is not helping you or if, if there are people in your life that are not helping you to improve you have to be willing to separate yourself from them if 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 there are things in your life that aren't helping you, you have to remove them from your life or remove yourself from the situations. In, in order to be the best that you can be in, and to be the best contributor that you can be in life um, and to maximize your own abilities, you have to focus on it. You have to make it your business. It's your personal business to make yourself better. That's the only way it's going to happen. You're, the, 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 the people that you spend time with, you're going to become the average of them. So if... If you want to become a better person, you have to hang out with better and better people. You have to listen to more people that are at a level that you want to be at. You have to learn from them to, to get to that level. And then you can give back in larger ways just like they do. Or just like, or maybe you can be different and give, give back more in ways that others aren't. Whatever your, your craft is or whatever it is that you want to do, in order to achieve greatness, you have to be obsessed. You have to remove negativity from your life. And... You have to be resilient. You have to be a many things, many things. It's never just one quality, okay? It's a, it's a bunch of different qualities. Um, but, if you're, but if you're trying to achieve greatness, uh, again, and you're trying to become distinguished and great and eminent and all these great words that are used to describe uh, the word greatness and, and, and people that, that have that word uh, uh, pinned to, the back, to their backs, you know, like, like Michael Jordan being a, a great athlete and a great team uh, member or a team leader, um, other great leaders in, in life. That's just a great one. I, I, I like to use it, and most people can relate to. Um, you got to be a hard worker, and you got to be committed, uh, and you just got to have fun with the fact that you're being you, and you're being the best that you can be. Uh, that's what is going to get you to that level that you want to be at. Is just passion. Passion equates to fun, and it doesn't. And it you can work twelve hour days, and, and it doesn't even feel like more than a couple of hours. Uh, that's what. That's what it feels like to be working passionately towards something that is meaningful and is contributing to society. And that's it right there. Greatness. Don't be average. Be epic.